Hey kids, it's the Bud House, and we're back for yep. episode 30. Don't hit the button, I'm not done yet. What are you thinking? Are you out of your fucking mind? Okay, Ethan, what the fuck's going on? Press it. This guy is not gay, I think. Hell yeah, dude. You know I forgot it. to do my rhyme. It, uh, it's episode 30, and I'm feeling pretty sweaty and dirty. I'm ready to get white and nerdy on these dirty birdies. Fucking, what's the wordy, Ethan? I'm like Weird Al Yankovic with that one thing he did. <laughs> I'm. I also look pretty pale on this thing, like a cancer kid. Ooh, you know what it is. What do you think Weird Al did? He did the song "White and Nerdy." Oh, okay. Yeah. I was. White I was thinking nerdy. you thought he was Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had that house with a chair with a face, and then, yeah. <laughs> and then he, he was did always wearing. <laughs> he did that thing at the movies. He's always wearing a tie. Right, and he's dead now? Tying one off, really yeah. Really recently? Yeah. Tying one off? That's what you call <laughs> masturbating? <laughs> Put a one bow tie on my penis and <laughs> <laughs> call me Pee Wee. Fancy. Dude, you think, do people shoot heroin in their dicks? I'm sure. Oh, someone's bound to have done it. You got a big throbbing vein. Someone's bound to do it later today. <laughs> and his name is Ethan. It's probably happening on your stoop right now. Yeah. Who has two thumbs and is going to shoot heroin in his cock <laughs> <laughs> later on today? <laughs> I am very curious who Rob was on the phone with just now to hear that. <laughs> yeah, I, I really hope it wasn't. <laughs> like, Mom, it's a joke. It's a podcast. <laughs> His job interview, he's like, I'm really, really sorry about that. My <laughs> roommates have a podcast. I don't know my roommates. <laughs> yeah, I did hear him in the bathroom saying, should I take notes? <laughs> Lord knows it's I'm always taking notes. Very uncomfortable the, place to be taking notes cramper. while shitting. <laughs> <laughs> you have to just take notes on the toilet paper. <laughs> He's like putting water from on his finger from the sink and like <laughs> writing it on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> that actually brings us into an area. I asked uh, for questions on the Butt House Instagram today, and uh, old friend of the pod, Dylan, past guest, future guest, past said, ga- "Past guest, <laughs> standing or sitting to wipe?" <laughs> Bro, sitting, S- standing. standing. Dude. You stand and wipe? Yes, dude. I stand yeah. at attention. You fully stand? Kneel for the flag. Yeah. That's stand like, for the I shit. feel like toddler style. No, no dude. I used to what, stand and just, wipe, and then my sister walked in on me once, and she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, being fuck. Being a normal human being. You got shamed into you sitting. You fully stand and... No, I don't... You're... You... Okay. <laughs> I am... Oh. I'm up, dude. I'm up. I'm yeah, getting yeah. out of the sweep. He's all the way up. Yeah, dude. But meanwhile, you're fucking heavy cheeking. Just yeah, I just lean. How do you know when what, you're you done? What, you lean to the side? I look at the toilet paper. So you so you go under, up, back under? Yeah. That's too I, much effort. It's not. It's <laughs> literally a wrist movement. Nah, that's bad, It's dude. more effort to stand. Nah. See, that's why people break toilet seats, too, dude. You're slopping the what seat all that? around. You know what I mean? That's why it gets all loose, because you're fucking Bro, leaning. I've never <laughs> broken a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> I'm on your side. And <laughs> you're making it tough. You ever sat on That's a nice toilet seat do. that doesn't move around? You know what ladies, I mean? Ladies, ladies wipe their pussy. Well, they'd go from the front, I think. Yeah, so you're you're just a woman. <laughs> yeah, facts. Yeah. <laughs> I got the hair. I got the well, pussy. Well, also, you're supposed to wipe towards the back, especially if you're a woman. You yeah, right, be wiping right. you gotta get that front. out of there. Yeah, that's so the thing. How I don't do you go... do that motion well? Well, I guess you. I go from the side, but I yeah. don't go. You got to credit card yourself. I don't go yeah. front to back. I go back to front. I go like just, I like to have shit on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> just get a nice grease. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm very meticulous, but but I do go back to front. I love when you get into a stall and the toilet paper dispenser is like up here, and you're just like, <laughs> "Yep, this was meant for me." <laughs> <laughs> Tall kings, dude. He knows I stand. <laughs> Bro, what about people who sit to pee? I mean, if I'm super tired in the middle of the night, maybe, but I got too much to do. Angus sits to pee. Wow. If I'm super tired in the middle of the night, I pee. How do you know? I don't know. We've talked about it. (laughs) (laughs) I got to get something off my chest. (laughs) I sit. What's that? The Tim and Eric song? I sit down when I pee. There ain't nothing wrong with me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just taking a whiz. Mind your own biz. (laughs) It's so good. Uh... Damn. Yeah. yeah. Well, Ethan, you just celebrated your 29th birthday. What did you do to celebrate? Oh, man. He was a complete fat. Never mind. Was? Dude. So, Edon was DJing on Rockaway Beach. We were like, hey, yeah, we might as well roll over there. It was like one to seven was the window. We finally get out there. It takes, a, it takes us a little over an hour to get there by train. So, me... Jarvin Rob popped out. 
Took us a while to get there. Took us a while to get off our asses. We were probably there by, like, what, six? It was like, yeah, it was probably six. No, it was 6.30, I think, when we showed up at that place. Well, yeah, so we get to Rockaway Beach, and I look up this address. The The flyer was very vague. Um, very, very vague flyer. We didn't know where it was. <laughs> so I'm looking up this address, and then I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's it's showing it's showing Breezy Point. The only thing sh- popping up was on Breezy Point, which is another half hour all the way out to the end of the peninsula of like that, that the island what? area. <laughs> peninsula. <laughs> peninsula. 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 So we Uber out there and all of a sudden we're like popping up to this weird like gated community. Like the security woman was like a fucking Dickhead, dude. Absolutely. Yeah, she dickhead, was. She was dude. like, "What's your business? State your business." Yeah, and we were like, the "Uber driver's like it. Arabic." He's like, "I do, they get an Uber to the place." <laughs> we're like, "I'm being held hostage." <laughs> yeah. And she just kind of rolls her eyes and goes, "Okay," gives him a fake wooden token, <laughs> and just what? like, we drive off into the wind, baby. We get to this fucking area where it's like this strange, strange fucking neighborhood. We don't see. We go through another gate, right? Was I, there another gate? Uh, eventually, yeah, there yeah. was. That's when he had to put the token in. Yeah, exactly. Huh. So it's like this weird little rich community that seems like vacation houses, but they're all kind of mashed together like some fucking New England neighborhood, like Sea Town, and and I ain't talking Claremont, but um, we pull up, just kind of like see a beach area, and the guy's like, "All right, you're here." 106 Beach, and we're like... It was one of those things where uh, we knew that it wasn't the place, but we were kind of like, we have to get out. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, yeah, and, okay. And we're ya. like, we must try. Like, what if we pop around the corner and we're like, this is weird. What Holy, if I we can't vacuum it on a pod? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> and, um... Fucking... So we start walking out to the beach. It's like a pretty long ways. We can't see the water, but we know it's there. Mm. And it's like this strange path. There's like a sidewalk, the weird fucking rubber mat they lay down across the sand, and like tall grass. But the second we hop out, we're like kind of feel like we have a sniper aimed at us. <laughs> it's like, a very eerie vibe because the whole we're there, and you know, there's cars everywhere. There's like not cars driving, but like parked at in front of houses and shit. But we didn't see like a single person anywhere. Mm. Like it was like we got out. It's just like it's quiet, too quiet, <laughs> you know, and. We walk up, we crest over to like where, you know, you there's like the beach. It's kind of like a little dune t- type thing. You crest over it and you can see the water. We get over and... Uh, Bird, fir- birds everywhere. But first off, we're, when we're walking up, there's a sign that says r- beach for residents and guests only or whatever. Yeah. And we're like, well, we're guests, I guess. It must be. So then we crest over and then it's like a million bir- of these birds on the beach. And then we look and there's a sign that says no trespassing uh Feder- protected land for these fucking birds to fuck on. <laughs> federally restricted. Yeah, and said federally like, restricted. Mm, yep, this is and definitely brought not an Arab it. man there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he came out and chilled. He was telling us when he on the on the way over there. He's like, he's like yes, I I have no friends. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but he was like, I don't want friends. He's like, I you customers, you're my friends. <laughs> Weird flex. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was odd, dude. He's taking ownership uh, I before think you make fun of him. I could tell that he was hurt. He had been hurting. In he's Johnny movie. Cash. Yeah. I hurt. <laughs> Arabic Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways. He, he was actually pretty cool and pretty talkative for someone who doesn't want friends. <laughs> he seemed yeah. like also like thankful when we got out. He was like, hey, thank you guys so much, man. Yeah. And when we got out or when we passed the gate, when the chick was like questioning him, he was like, pit. he was like, this fucking bitch. What the <laughs> fuck are you <laughs> fucking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah, Rob, come tell this. <laughs> He's like, you guys want to hear music? And we're like, yeah, sure. And then he puts on like a two and a half hour K-pop mix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, on the thing, it was like, K-pop for four hours straight. <laughs> like in between songs. How long of a Uber was it? Just it was half like, an hour. Yeah. Yeah, it was long enough. A couple hours. Long enough, brother. But uh, yeah, so we're on the crest of the... The beach hump. The oh, also, wait, before birds. he picked this up, 
I think somebody might have drowned it in the fucking... Yeah. Because we showed up, like, actually on Rockaway, I think near where we were supposed to be, but we didn't know. But we, like, walked up toward the beach, and then a fucking big-ass paddy wagon came screaming down the boardwalk, and then other emergency vehicles, and then a fucking helicopter came down and was, like, doing Jesus. circles around the water. Yeah. So somebody must have got fucking taken out by by old King Neptune. So that that was kind of like the uh, the indicator that things are awry. <laughs> yep. But yeah, beach. it was a sign. <laughs> so the we're at the walked. we're at the beach hump on Crest Point, <laughs> Breezy Point, and see the federally restricted bird sign <laughs> and turn around and there's just like a truck like fucking headed towards us. Like you can tell you're like, oh no, like <laughs> this doesn't feel good. Comes up and he's like, what are you guys doing here, basically? Are you guests? And I was like, no, 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 no. I think Rob was like, yes. And I, <laughs> I was just like, no, 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 no. Also, he was like drinking a beer and had to like throw it into the grass and felt so bad about it. I was like, eh, it's probably all right. But hopefully they don't find us and or find get it. The, and his then, like, DNA off the mouthpiece. They they definitely have a basement for bad people there, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Bro, but, when we just got out of the Uber, the, there's a guy in a truck. This is the one human that we did see. It was the older dude in the truck, and he stopped and just like glared at us walking by. And he was grilling. he was the one who called because the guy said he's like we got to call some <laughs> suspicious guys. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, dude? We're just three bros walking. But, but yeah, so then that guy comes up, and the dude was nice, the public safety guy or whatever. He was like, we're like, yeah, we're looking for 106 something, whatever. It's a DJ supposed to be. He's like, oh, yeah, you're not in the right place. He's like, that's on Rockaway. He's like, that's the concessions. He's like, that's where you need to be. I'm like, damn it. Yeah. He's like, I thought this whole sh- fucking thing was Rockaway. I didn't know it was just a one little yeah. ch- chunk of the beach. And also then immediately it hits me. I even asked the guy, I'm like, can we, like, even Uber out of here? And he's like, well, yeah. He's like, you just have to walk all the way back to, like, the gate. Yeah, Did he so, have a vehicle? Yeah, he was in a truck. He wouldn't hit you a ride? No. And then another truck came barreling fucking through, like, ready to yeah. ready to fucking ready to shoot bust. and fight. Dude. Don't touch my fucking birds! Yeah. So did you guys birds. even make it to the show? Nope. No. <laughs> Dude, and we... <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. We had to wait like probably 40 minutes total at least for an yeah, Uber to at pick least, us up. Too. At least 30 for sure. And like I, I commandeered one Uber. It said 16 minute wait. I'm like, all right. And then it just keeps going up. Yep. I see the dude just looping around. I'm like, what the fuck's he doing? So then I cancel it, get another one. Then it's like 18 minutes. But then it starts actually going down. And it was a nice Japanese man, and he was playing fucking like uh, Dude, first early two thousand fifty. Yeah, what was it? What song was it? Uh, it's I one can't with the like one. Arabic ass sounding beat. This not is Candy Shop, but just a, yeah, just, just a little bit. Yeah, it's just a little bit. That's what that's what it was. And it was like you know shit like Ashanti and stuff. It was nice. That's it was nice. like a great. That was like one of the nice. You know the feeling of like safety. It's yeah, like we're yeah. back. Yeah. We're fucking back. There's, we can salvage this night. And then Did we you? just... Uh, yeah, it, it got salvaged nice. slightly. It took a while, but... Um, yeah, we went to the surf club. Yep. Ended up seeing my buddy Mike there. Uh, he's a real rascally rockaway guy. Mm-hmm. But it was funny, like, running into someone and just being like, oh, my God. Like, we can do shots with people. We're in a safe place. We're having fun again a little bit. <laughs> As the mayor of and Brooklyn, did it feel weird being in a different borough? Um, it did feel strange, yeah, for my birthday. And but it's still technically Brooklyn, though, right? Queens. Queens. Oh, it is. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow, though, I'm in Astoria. It was two hours on the train for me. Damn. That's why I was like, bro, I can't fucking be Yeah, there. I mean, it's almost an hour <laughs> yeah, to that's here true. for it's you, like and then minutes. it's an hour plus for us. So. Damn. Yeah, even driving it said an hour, and there ain't no way that's true. And then I ended up at Cookies because I had gotten my shift covered. I was like, I might as well go pay respects to my coworker and give him money and get way too drunk there. And I then, ended up at Cookies because I got my shift covered. He's like, I went to work because I got out of work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Oh, no, it makes sense, dude. <laughs> but, I mean, it, uh, you're the mayor of Cookies, dude. It makes sense. Then we, then we close it off at uh, Coyote Club, which Love I'm the also the mayor of. I haven't mm-hmm. been to Coyote since I moved. Yeah, that was actually like a pretty fun that. night, dude. Uh, also, Brandon, while we were at Cookies, our our friend Kat, she's like 
the tiniest girl ever. And he had like thrown her on his back and apparently was like kind of like bucking like a bull. And I didn't see that part. I just saw her like getting off his back. And then he looks at me and he's like, I could do that to you. And I was like, yeah, I could probably get on your back. Like, <laughs> good job. I was like, that sounds fun. Immediately, <laughs> I get on his back and he just starts going like this. And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And literally throws me face first oh. into the fucking bar stool. Like, my face <laughs> hurts to this I have step. it all like, on video. Ooh, yeah. I would love to see it. Yeah, I'll put it in, dude. Here. Ready? Bro. Bro. Are you okay? Huh? Nah. I just broke my neck on my birthday, but I'm good, baby. No, genuinely, holy shit, dude. <laughs> I ended up uh, that night supposed to do a show, got canceled, not enough tickets sold, so just wasted two hours of my life trying to sell tickets. Uh, but uh, then and Brandon, missing your friend's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that was actually our fault for getting fucking lost and it being well, too also, late for you, you to come out. You said you were going to leave at one. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, uh, left at five thirty. Have you guys heard of Danny Mullen? Heard of Nick mm. Mullen? Uh, I'm wondering if heard I heard of Rodney Mullen. Wait for the page. I'll talk about all that on the page. But uh, <laughs> anyways, we celebrated Ethan's birthday. Now it's gonna be Nathan's birthday. Oh snap, dude! Do you have your gift? Yeah, ready to rock. Ready? Yeah. All right. Life's amazing. And it's time to exchange gifts, boys. Fuck yeah. Ooh. That's the shit, man. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't yes! have as much time to prepare as I did for Ethan's. Oh, snap, dude. Is this a sandwich? Ooh. <laughs> Burrito. Yeah, I should have made you a sick printout. Oh, fuck, bro. Oh, shit. I got extra stuff. Twofer. <laughs> nice, dude. Is How that did you know? You know, the lady Damn, at the register, dude. I think, really thought I was weird because I bought two of these <laughs> shirts and then a child's lollipop toy. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's a fucking party if I've ever heard of one. I Man, know you love gyrating bro. things Three in your bucks. mouth, popping off. Dan's gay Does Mediterranean family <laughs> lifestyle is. Oh, she'd be spinning. That's crazy. She's what a real spinner? <laughs> it spins the lollipop and you hold it in your mouth. Yes. <laughs> That's it's very crazy. weird. What the and hell? It's, it's oh, meant for children. My God. For the children. Does That's it actually spin. I think so. That's terrifying. Look at the thing down at the bottom. What's that? That just popped up. <laughs> oh, maybe it just pops in your mouth then. <laughs> Happy yeah, birthday. It shoots into the back of your throat. Damn, dude. Nice. What flavor did you choose, bud? Pink. I tell a little strawberry because I love feeling like a little fruit into the Love a stroop. Strawberries. Oh, chupa chup. What's this? Chup, chupa chups. I also like how he went for the lollipop mechanism before the shirt. <laughs> I know. I was going to be like, <laughs> put the shirt on. <laughs> I'm in too That's deep. Great. I fucked up and wore my shirt and told Ethan to wear his, not realizing I'm just giving away exactly what I'm doing. Part oh, of me was like, right. I just wore it on the last F. Why do you need me to wear it? But I was like, all right, I'll rock it with you. Oh, it just keeps it sanitary for you. <laughs> <me. laughs> oh, okay. People who can't finish a fucking <laughs> small lollipop, yeah. I've got to save this for later. Can I get that to go? <laughs> <laughs> they should make one that spins for sure. I think they used to. I feel uh, like I've seen that. And a gyrating that, pop? Yeah. Gyro pop. Wait, hold on. I got, I got just the thing. Wait. Hold on, I can make it spin. Wait, you guys wait here. <laughs> you wait what? here, dude. <laughs> we gotta kill time. All right, yeah. Um. Well, let's hit another. I'll hit another cue. Yeah. Uh, this one kind of only applies to uh, Nathan. <laughs> nice, <laughs> good setup. Yeah, but. <laughs> Here it is. From Lucas Jones on Instagram said, Okay, so I love you guys, and I wanted to ask how long it took for you guys to get as big as you did individually. Oh, a I lifetime, I don't know. Probably, I was probably 15 when I stopped growing. I mean, I <laughs> probably two years ago is when I got fat. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I fucking bark for a comedy club. I'm not big. Um... I have a pretty small following. 
<laughs> oh, so, <laughs> look at next to you. <laughs> That's I'm telling Ethan to look next oh. to him. Hello. Ooh. It's not spinning. It will. He's got to get the bit on. There oh, it is. wow. Dude. Are work. you kidding me? <laughs> 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 you this man's a genius, dude. <laughs> <laughs> This man can finish a lollipop in <laughs> fucking record time, dude. Yeah, I just, you guys keep talking. Wait. <laughs> Set the resistance down and see if you can suck hard enough. That it, like, <laughs> Put it on one. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. I can't tell if it's Fucking gangster, dude. <laughs> it's also, I don't got enough suction, Dan. I'm it's sorry. It's also so funny to have that question come up. How long did it take for you guys to get as big as you did? <laughs> this is immediately what happens. You want a you want a fucking straight answer? There it is, buddy. I don't know if that's straight. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gay. But creativity—that's the name of the game. Oh my god! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You just got to stay creative, stay vigilant, dude. You know? That's right, bro. Keep that toolie on you. Yeah, I've bro. been hanging out with a girl that was like, what's your podcast? And immediately I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Not telling you a thing about it. Girls like this type of shit. <laughs> Put a dildo on the end of this bastard. <laughs> God, I can't oh, wait man. for my work to find out I have a pod. <laughs> it's actually kind of nice to do this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it back in the holster, though, where it's meant to go. That's what Pee Wee Herman said. But, uh, yeah, in all actuality, it's taken me a fucking long time to even get a little bit of a following. And it probably mostly comes from Jarf. Oh, stop. That's how the pod um, works. Hey, put your shirt on, by the way. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Fucking putting lollipops in drills. (laughs) Now the boys... It's all Greek to us. Ooh-wee. Damn, bro. That smells like lollipops, sucker. <laughs> that smells like someone who's been sucking on lollipops, man. You've been popping? I don't want to bust this, Dan. You got your blade? Yeah. You just came with a tag? Yeah, bro. Psh, mine was tagless, brother. Mine was tagless, brother. Ethan's might have been mine that I wore once and then trunk. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah. Nice. And then was just like, I bet he'd like this. Yeah. Well, I'm actually not mad at that. I was never going to reveal it. It's got the luck of Daniel in it. <sighs> Gentlemen, I'll be right back. This is uh, a work call. Oh, man. You know. Don't, you can go to my room, Dan, if you want. We really hear much. Yeah. You know what the thing about Dan, man, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, he's a star. Shut the door. Nice one, brother. Let little bygones be bygones, man. This some serious gourmet shit. It just gets more depressing and depressing as you go on. <laughs> loser, loser, loser. You know, the thing is, man, it just starts to get sad after a while when... You realize your friends have been putting lollipops on drills and the other friend has, you know, the absolute audacity to take work calls on the podcast. It's getting less and less professional. (laughs) And the thing is, man, I never wanted things to be this way. It's taken me a long time to get where I'm at. But sometimes It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Fag, fag, faggot. (laughs) You know, the one thing they said about me when I was born was... Huge fucking cock. That's what the doctor said. No, fuck. Just what the doctor ordered. Um, Wrong, wrong. That's just retarded. Well, I believe we're ready to jump into my gift. Daniel, thank you for the gifts. This is awesome. I love this fucking shirt. This is actually my favorite shirt out of all three, so this is perfect. You're very, yeah, very welcome. Yeah, pretty nice, Al. actually. I do like Daniel's, and I do like mine. Um, I think I look good in a burgundy yep. gold uh, 
I wish it was a little, you know, gold flakes or something or sparkles. But um, <laughs> you are a sparkly so man. So this is an option gift. You're gonna have two choices. What? But the thing is, you're gonna have to close your eyes, and you're gonna have to choose uh, left or right. And I actually won't know which one it is because I don't know the order in which they are in here. I'll go right. You're close. Really? You're gonna go right. Well, I'm going to the camera, so uh, it's gonna be. Fuck, I looked at him. Now I have a choice. Nope, never mind. Restart. What? Why are you looking? Shit. <laughs> Shit. Keep me. All right, so Dan shuffled him. Yeah. I won't look. <laughs> but you can't look either, because then you're biased, dude. I ain't looking. I'm not biased, dude. You guys just look. Nobody can look. I look, I, but I don't remember which one's which. All you right. need to re-choose. So, I left still go right. right. You go right? Mm -hmm. Camera right or our right? I guess you're right. Okay. Yes. Yes. Because you just looked over and saw the I Bobby saw Digital. RZA. <laughs> I saw RZA. I, I can't lie. Nice. And I was like, damn, I didn't know what that other one was. What's the other one? Damn, that's fire, too. Yeah, Fuck. that is very fire. <laughs> yeah, I want I that know. one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was no, like, this what? is so sick, dude. What yeah. the fuck? Where'd Pretty you get G. these? Uh, Seed. My homie's fucking shop. It's what? like a coffee shop slash. Uh, damn, that's dope. Slash, dude, this this it's spot a nice is so bag, sick. Too. That's yeah. a good quality bag. Yeah, he's a G. Where's it at? He just did like a whole campaign for Solomon shoes. What? And like Hiking. fucking made all these sick backdrops and shit for it. Dude, shit is crazy. I'll show you later. Yeah. But shout out Seed Brooklyn. They he also doesn't have make cool these shit though. Like this. They just he just has cool shit. Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah, that's fucking fire. The artwork bro. on it's sick. Yeah, thanks, man. Crazy, what a sweet of course, treat. brother. Of course, so this means brother. this one's yours. And Give I get nothing. Number. Yeah. I'll call you up. <laughs> well, on your birthday, you'll get something. Yeah, Ethan, that's his birthday gift to himself. Yeah, dude. What's the thing? What's the other little item? <sighs> Is that money or something? Um, I believe no, it's... a piece of wood? Just a piece of wood, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, why is that? Slap you up with wood, dude. not really sure why he's got the wood, to be honest. Give me the th mic so I can take it away. Yeah, I don't know if maybe... Yeah, it doesn't even say. I mean, Rizza came with a big fucking laser gun, so... That is pretty fucking sick. It is yeah. It is a plank. Perpendicular to the square. Deep down, I knew that you wanted a, the Bobby Digital one, and I haven't really gotten super into Bobby Digital, but I fucking love Rizza. Yeah, bro. He's king. So I was like, you, you do shit, deserve bro. that one over me. Otherwise, I would be a little bit of a poacher. Although I do love ODB so much, too. Yeah, dude. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all. Fuck you, dude. You know, <laughs> that that's how it goes, right? That's right. That is true. All right, boys. Should well, we rip some more questies? Or I guess Nate never answered. Uh, I wanted to ask how long it took you guys to get as big as you did individually. Um, so I started, I put out my first, like, sort of album uh, when I was a senior in high school. But I didn't, like, put it on the internet. I don't, or maybe I did, but I it didn't stay on there. You know, I took it off. I made it private or something. But... Mm. Uh, kids in school thought it was good and that was encouraging. And then, um, I made another thing like, I don't know. So essentially I've been rapping since like fucking 2012, 2011 or something. And, uh, Jarvis volume one didn't actually, my first like official thing that you could find right now didn't come out until 2016. And yeah, so that, that album did pretty well, you know? It's it, it was kind of all a little... I had a good little uh, initial thrust because I did, like, the RA, like, rap contest yeah, yeah. and shit, and then he kind of co-signed me right off the rip. So it, it, that gave me, like, a big little pop at the beginning. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, I've always been fancied... I fancied myself as, like, a guy who's decent at networking and shit, you know? And making good connections that like kind of helped me throughout my career or whatever. It's like more than half of the game too. <clears throat> right, totally. Yeah. And and like you know, if I see an opportunity, I fucking snatch it. I bust on it. Like even with like the Andrew Santino shit back in the day, like. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, like I was just a fan of his podcast, and he's like, "Any MCs? Like we're gonna put out the instrumental," and I'm like, "There it is, bong done." Nice. And mm -hmm. then it's like I end up opening the show for him at. Just for Laughs in Montreal and met Black Thought and Bobby yeah, Lee. Yeah. And Crazy. It's always like little things like that that kind of have happened for me. But, but yeah, I don't know. I never did a bunch of like great shows until really I, a little stranger started fucking with me. Mm. And then from that, I, I was like introduced to a whole new scene. 
and doing actual big rooms. Normally, I was used to like fucking rap shows where it would be like 15 people. Right. Yeah, the photos from some of those festivals you were at were fucking crazy. Bro, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, no, speaking thousands of Thousands of people. Speaking of which, this is fucking wild. This is why we were planning mm. on doing more podcasts, but and I, I wasn't going to leave till Saturday or something to go back to Vermont to get ready for this tour with Little Stranger. But I got a DM two nights ago from Noah Khan. Do you know Noah Khan? Yeah, from yeah. Vermont. Yeah, but he's like the most famous guy ever yeah. now. <laughs> but he hit me up and he's like, hey, dude, are you going to be in Vermont on Thursday? I was like, uh, no, but I can be. <laughs> and he's like, well, I'm doing this show. It's a charity show. And uh, I was wondering if you wanted to open. What? And I'm like, fuck, yeah, bro. Like, mm-hmm. Apparently already like 6,000 tickets sold and shit. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Damn. So it's going to be crazy. That's going to be the sick. biggest Where crowd I've ever. Uh, it's at Essex, Fa- at, uh, 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 Essex Fairgrounds. No, no shit, son. Yeah. How did he know of you? So uh, we've known each other. I've never met him in person, but. I used to chill with his older brother, Richard. Huh. And we used to skate and smoke Dick weed and stuff. Yeah, Dick Con. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dick Con. Um, that's hilarious because I was talking to John, John from Little Stranger yeah. about this last night, and he said the same exact thing. He's that's like, funny. oh, Dick Con. But, uh, so yeah, I used to chill with his older brother. I never met Noah, but um, we've always kind of had a rapport on Instagram, yeah. like for years and years. Like there was one time... Uh, I was going to open for him at Higher Ground, and then his yeah. he, said, he was like, he was like, dude, my management said it isn't a good fit or something, but oh, geez. that was a long time ago, but yeah. um, also, I like wasn't as popping as I am now, I get, whatever, not yeah, yeah, popping, yeah. but like, you know what I mean, I think I've showed longevity, yeah, you you know, have a that was like six years ago, then, yeah. But anyways, we've we've had rapport for a long time. But finally, yeah, it was it was cool. He TC'd you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. My management yeah. doesn't want you to be seen here. <laughs> they they heard one thing crass or that you had said, and they were just like, "No fuck, <laughs> yeah." Whoa. But um, and then I was like, "You cannot give me any advice." <laughs> but but yeah, no, pretty exciting, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, Good for you. So man. That's why I got to leave tonight, and then tomorrow I got to go. Do the show of a lifetime. 6,000 tickets sold is crazy, bro. bro. I didn't know that part. That's fucking sick. Yeah, it's going to be really crazy. Do you got a bunch so of merch? Dope. Are they going to let you I sell don't know. Merch? I don't know because it's a sh- charity show. I don't yeah, know that's like, how that works, but mm. I'm getting paid. Fuck yeah. But You're like, I brought 400 records. For every 400 sold, I will donate three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. You don't just donate three records, not even the money. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, it's fucking exciting, dude. I'm yeah, actually, like, a crazy. little nervous. Partially because being that, you know, our music's so different. Like, his music's great, but it's, like, very different from yeah, my, yeah. like, folk, my right? naughty rap music. Yeah, it's, like, yeah, modern folk. Yeah. But uh, great singer, great guitar player. Hit him with the blue great velvet. Great good. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, I'm, I'm just worried that, like, I'll go up. Because I'm up first, too, and then people are just going to be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this isn't what I paid to see. What the fuck? I have kids <laughs> here. Wait a minute. Is this not Noah Khan? <laughs> this is Nady, Nady Khan. Go up as Dick Nady Khan. Khan artist. But, no, yeah, that's very exciting. Pretty that's fucking sick. sick, dude. Wicked. It's so dope. Pretty crazy, Shout out man. Noah. Shout out Noah Khan. Dude, I saw that video of him walking out at MSG, fucking sold out show, and everyone immediately is just like, what? Like, so crazy, so bro. nuts, dude. I'm like, he's from Hanover. Like, yeah, that's so sick. Is he from Hanover or like from the area? Yeah, he's around mm-hmm. there. Yep. I think it's like a smaller little town around Hanover. Yeah. Oh, did word. you know Richard, Dan? I don't think so. He used to have this. He like kind of started a little skate like deck company for a minute called Public Skateboards, and they had like a Wu Tang graphic. Mm-mm. What was that through Embassy or something? No, it was just his like little solo thing. He just like had decks made and sold them out of his trunk. That's cool, mm. but. Yeah, he was a cool dude. I haven't seen him in fucking forever, but yeah, maybe he'll be there. That's wild. That's maybe super cool. Is anyone else on the show, or is it just you two? I think I'm first of three, but I'm not sure. Word. Post Malone's going to pop out, dude. Bro. Yeah. Hosier. 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 But yeah, yeah, pretty exciting. Pretty crazy. My sister's like, I want to fly in. Like, fucking hey, dude. Come on. The man. show's Thursday? Tomorrow? Yeah. Damn. So I got to fly, or I got to drive to Vermont tonight. Snooze it up. Man, I yeah. wish. I didn't have work. I would go. Yeah, yeah. 
Although I really don't even know the deal if I can like bring people with me to. Uh, yeah, I, I, I asked, but I don't. Mm. But I like. They haven't responded, but. <laughs> 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 can I bring all my buddies? All right. Come on, no way. <laughs> but yeah, dude, fucking gonna be crazy. I've I've performed. I think the biggest crowd is like twenty five hundred. So. Mm. Was that with the little stranger? Yeah, this that summer? was at Janice Live. I think was the biggest biggest show. Of that looked like more than twenty five hundred. I yeah, thought that was yeah. Like 5, I mean, it's 000. a fucking big, yeah. cra- big looking crowd, but but yeah. I mean, twenty five hundred is a lot. When yeah. You see them in a fucking venue, it's like packed. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. Like, I want, what what do you think higher higher ground like the ballroom is? Probably like a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred, mm, something like that. Yeah. Maybe a little less than a thousand, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Probably. It's a big room, though. But. I think the biggest crowd I did was f- probably. 300. Yeah, I mean, a that's a lot, though. Narcotics yeah. Anonymous conference Damn. in fucking Damn, Nashville, New Hampshire. How'd it go? It went great. I was worried, but they, they just, they have nothing else, so they love dark humor. They yeah. love being edgy. I have mm. jokes about, like, when I used to do drugs all the time. Might they have, have nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing. Might have uh, had a little fun. Well, Jesus. <laughs> he could get narcotics had after. had a little fun with Dylan in the hotel beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> Did not mean it to sound like that. <laughs> Pulled a real peewee. You guys jerked off on the table in there? <laughs> yeah. And then at breakfast. Uh, There's nothing wrong with being gay. Yeah, the uh, the guy that was putting it on, I uh, was under strict orders of no drinking and no doing anything before the show. Mm. And... Uh, Quickly Did ordered a drink at the bar. Uh, <laughs> Thankfully, like, chugged it. He came in and was like, are you getting drinks at the bar? And I was like, no, I'm just sitting here and ordering food. And he was just like, okay. <laughs> I was just uh, like, yeah. You, like, scoot a drink over. You're like, that w- actually wasn't mine. That was water. <laughs> Damn. Well, uh, well, uh, what's your biggest crowd, little Ethan? Dude, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> I was just trying to think that. I'm like, what is the biggest venue I've played? That fart hurt my butt. It didn't sound great. <laughs> well, it sucks, too, because we, we played Higher Ground as Maiden Voyage back in the day, and I forget who we opened for. Was that? Loaf Music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. Speaking shout of out, Loaf, you shout just out, shout out Loaf. One, yeah, I just yeah. cut a loaf. <laughs> <laughs> but we played the, the smaller room at Higher Ground, and I think it was like midweek, and it was like kind of a bust. Not a bust, but like we were so hyped to play Higher yeah. Ground, and like... It was. It just kind of ended up being like, damn, that wasn't much bigger than like some pizza places we've played or like right, barns. Right. right. <laughs> but totally. uh, I don't know, man. I I truly can't remember some of the. I mean, the station shows probably. Those are fucking popping. Back in the day, the yeah, station would be like, like people spilling outside. Yeah. Yeah, but like, how many people can you even fit there? Still, like sixty. I yeah. bet no. I bet you there's been fucking two hundred people there. Mm. That's mm. a lot. Yeah, that I don't, I don't think 200. I know, but there's been nights where it's been f- packed in, like, both rooms. Yeah. And they but. would clear the booths out and shit. Like, that shit has been fucking slammed. At least 120, I'll say. Yeah. At least. Yeah, I've, I've probably never even played for 200 people, to be honest. But I'm ready to. If anyone wants to book me for, like, a 10,000-person gig, like, I'm there. <laughs> yeah. I'll coach. rock it. Yeah. I remember the first time I played for, like, what felt like a big crowd was at uh, that festival Otis. In, it's like in upstate New know. York. It was a cool festival, but I think the crowd was probably like 500 people. Mm. But I was like, oh, this is crazy. Yeah. Also, it was like an awesome crowd, too. They were like going nuts. Makes all the difference. Yeah, like it, doing a rap show when you like finish a line and everyone's like, oh! Like mm. every fucking fourth <laughs> bar, they like scream. I'm like, damn, you guys really understood the assignment. Y'all listening to me. Y'all listen to me. Y'all mind. really listening to me. My best show I've ever done was in Vancouver, Canada. Yeah. The crowd was awesome. Shout out Icon Hip Hop. It's like this, they have like um, a big cypher scene out there. Yeah. It's like real hip hop shit going on over there. It's it, And it's because of this like group organizing weekly events and monthly events and stuff. Mm. And they like organized the show. Was, I was opening for Wax, but... Sick. I don't know. I was there and like a ton of people were fans of mine mm-hmm. and they knew a bunch of the fucking lyrics and they were kept chanting Jarv. I'm just like, this is That's crazy. Wild, That's so dude. dope. Yeah, it's so sick. Actually, I guess maybe. Shout um, out Truth, Truth the MC he, or Truth the Rapper, I think it is on Instagram. He's mm. fucking dope, dude. That kid is a motherfucking beast. Bruce. 
Beast. Beast. It's spelled T R E W T H. So look him up. He's good. Anyways, sorry I cut you off. Probably eight by ten. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, Baltimore. True. True. Baltimore had good map people. Very yeah, true. Yeah, I mean we've done. We I feel like we've done shows that were like almost equal to that. Like as far as like an out outdoor festival back in the day, but like, yeah, like Onion River or something. Yeah, that was like probably probably the most like feel good lot of people in one spot yeah i mean besides the station back in the day that shit was like always felt great yep but yeah that place was sick the owner of eight by ten was like yeah we can fit i think i want to say he said like almost 800 people in there and i was just like <laughs> all right yeah right. Right. Mm. well there is the balcony too yeah yeah Eight hundred is just i mean a thousand people in that building yeah right. that's no, breaking fire code no brother yeah, yeah totally. exactly Totally. Like, um, I'm actually with the state. <laughs> Ooh, I uh, I went out to Chicago for IMTS, a big old trade show for manufacturing. Mm. Pretty sweet. Does that stand for I am transsexual? Yes. There's no A. It'd just be I'm. 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 Mm. No, it's just empty. Mm. Transsexual. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Man, this sounds dumb. I didn't realize there's beaches in Chicago. It's right on Lake Michigan. Fat beaches? Did not yeah. know. Fat beaches? That DJ pizza, dude. I wouldn't have wouldn't have guessed. Yeah, but uh, nothing really to report yeah, there. Yeah, because it's Lake, Lake Michigan. Yeah, yeah, I had no idea, though. I'm, we're driving around. I'm just like, wait, there's beaches and like... Yeah, and it seems like the ocean because it's so big. Yeah, exactly. You can't All the see great, the other side. The great lakes. Yeah, bro. But on the way back... I was watching this documentary series on uh, Paramount. It was called Control Alt Desire. Mm -hmm. and it's about these nice. two brothers. Dude, it's fucking weird. I don't know if you guys have Paramount, but uh, in the very beginning, the brother's just like, yeah, like my brother would almost be like my significant other. And I was just like, what the fuck is going on here? And he's like, we're inseparable. We're always around each other. Like, I just love him so much. And I was just like, what is this documentary? And then the one dude starts, like, losing it a little bit. They go to med school. He ends up getting kicked out of med school. He's, like, giving people the drug that killed Michael Jackson because he doesn't want to deal with them at night. Hell, yeah. And nice. uh, he ends up uh, getting kicked out of all that shit and then slowly starts to unravel and finds cam girls shit. Yeah. and uh, gets obsessed with this, like, Russian cam girl and j sends her, like, over the course of uh, their relationship, whatever, like, $20,000. Or no. Damn. $20,000 was one of the nights. It was something like $200,000. Taking out uh, credit cards in his brother and his mom's name and all this shit. Dude. So he ends up. Uh, what a fucking pussy. And him and his brother are, like, 28 and 32 or whatever. Still live at home. Like, mm. no need to. They have plenty of money and yeah. all this shit. They end up. He ends up killing his mom. Killing his dad and mm -hmm. killing his brother in the house, shoots all of them execution style, and then goes on the run. Gets what? Yeah, gets caught and then continues to be like, nope, no fucking way. I didn't do this, blah, blah, blah. Gets found guilty, goes through the appeal, gets found guilty even through the appeal. And then he's talking to the guy that's directing because the guy's like real time making a documentary about this case. Yep. And then at the very end, he's just like, yeah, so. Um, I guess it's just important for you to have the real answers. I did it. I killed Damn. everybody. And they were just like, do you regret it? And he's like smirking the whole time. He's a fucking weird, bald creep, dude. It sucks. Damn. And uh, he's just like, yeah, you know, I I shouldn't have done it. And it stinks. <laughs> it <laughs> stinks. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? That's crazy. crazy. They, they try to interview the girl. And it's actually like kind of pulls on your old heartstrings because the girl's just like, this fucking ruined my life. Like, I'm barely okay with it. Do it, it. in a Russian accent, though. I'm... <laughs> I'm... <laughs> barely, I'm barely Working okay with it. Uh, well, <laughs> she basically was like, <laughs> it took me years to, like, come to terms with this and all oh, this yeah, shit. Yeah. And it sounds like it took him years to come, too. <laughs> $200,000 $200, worth, of years, worth of years. But, uh, yeah, yeah, she's just outright, like... Yeah, the only person I need to talk to about this is a therapist, so you guys can stop fucking calling me and Damn. leave me the fuck alone. Mm. But, bro, it's so weird. The guy is talking about it, and he's like, I'm just a different person when I'm online. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm strong. I'm confident. You know, I, I just, I'm, it's who I want to be. The dad finds all these emails that he's been sending her and then emails the girl and is like, he's full of shit. He lives in my house. He's fucking broke as hell. He's got no oh, money. Dude. Yeah, it's he fucking, it's so crazy. Is dude. that why he killed his papa and everyone else? So he, 
there's uh, videos that he sent. He runs away from home, which is very funny to do at 28 years old, yeah. and then <laughs> films a video in his car, just being talking to his brother and being like, "You got to give me 50 grand. You got to give me 50 grand, or I'm gonna have to do what I have to do." And then they like put him on lockdown, whatever, change the locks on the house. Like he's just spending all day and night messaging this girl and not doing anything else. It's so fucking Bro, weird, dude. That's, that's like the crazy. scariest part of having a kid. Like if you have kids, it's like they could mm. end up like a fucking retard like this guy. And then kill you. And, and then kill you. The thing is, too, they get is too addicted to like fake porn. Yeah. <laughs> And the, real uh, porn, but. they were like, why'd you kill your mom? Your mom, like, the mom would sneak phones to him and, like, let him message the girl and, like, She's gave an him money. But uh, they were like, why'd love. you kill your mom? And he was just like, she went through the same thing every day. She didn't have a purpose in life. Her and my dad were getting divorced. And it's like, so you get to decide that she Dude. doesn't have a life anymore? She was playing Farmville on uh, Facebook, and he fucking popped her in the back of the head. Well, oh, hey, she went out doing God. what she loved. <laughs> Just fucking grain and crops. She's like, these, these radishes aren't yielding. <laughs> <laughs> My harvest. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it was fucking... Oh, and the other thing that sucked is I'm sitting next to, like, kind of a cute girl on the plane, and it just keeps flashing to cam models, and I'm just <laughs> being like, oh, come on. <laughs> it's not what you think it is. <laughs> but you couldn't change it. No. That's an intense <laughs> thing to watch on the plane. Yeah, you got to go Ace Ventura or something, dude. Uh, what did I watch first? I don't know, something else. But Paw Patrol? <laughs> no. <laughs> I put my lollipop in my mouth and I... <laughs> <With the> drill? <laughs> yeah, they let you put, did they let you bring your drill on the plane? <laughs> they, uh, I did try to sneak by with an uh, energy drink through the airport and fucking old man security old said... Old man no Carruthers? Dice. Yeah. But he was like... Yeah, you can't have this. I was like, all right, do you want that? And he was like, no, too sour for me. <laughs> <laughs> he showed weakness. He was being vulnerable with you, Dan. What the fuck? I watched some movie. I don't remember. I saw uh, Jackass on a plane. That was a mistake. So many dicks everywhere. Yeah, and <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People are around me. And then I watched Joker for the first time on a plane this year. That movie's fucking crazy. Yeah, he kills dude. the yeah, guy. He kills Robert intense. De Niro. The streets rise up. Fucking save him. I was just like, man, I'm kind of surprised they let him make this movie. Joker yeah. 2 coming out, right? It's out. Lady Gaga. Terrible reviews. Really? really? Mm -hmm. It's got like 62. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't like Joaquin Phoenix. He's a really? great actor, but I just... He seems like a fucking cunt to me, dude. What was that? That's weird. What was that documentary, fake documentary that him and Casey Affleck oh, about made? About being a rapper? Yeah. That's pretty funny. I haven't seen it, but that is funny that he did that. He, like, what? takes a shit in somebody's bed. <laughs> and I think it's Casey Affleck's bed. He, like, pretends to have a mental breakdown and all this shit. And it's just like, yeah, we get it. You're going full fucking Jim Carrey, Andy Kaufman. Yeah, yeah. But um, I think... What the fuck was I going to say? Oh, you know, the thing, I, the thing that made me hate fucking Joaquin Phoenix was when he won an Oscar or whatever. And he did this fucking just grandiose. He was like kind of drunk, you could tell. And he just went off about how everyone should be like vegan. Oh, yeah. And I'm just like, dude, shut the fuck up. What a dickhead. You know what I mean? I don't know. Just like, accept the award. Thank your mom and God and get the fuck off the stage. It's that weird, like, duality of like, oh, I respect what this guy does, but I don't give a shit about your opinion. But at the same well, it's time, also like, it's like, you know, you can have an opinion, be political, you have a platform, but it's yeah. like, don't talk to me about fucking how beef is ruining the world. Beef. Save the cows. Yeah, he's like talking about methane gas and whatever else. I'm like, it's enough. So funny, too, when people are like, number one, you have to milk a cow. A cow will like get infections and shit if you don't be milking. I have to I've milk. Got to do it. I was gonna say, call me a cow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cattle call. <laughs> ding 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 ding. But come here, Bertha. <laughs> call me Bertha. <laughs> Tug on my udder. If you had a daughter, what would you name her that would ensure nobody wants to have sex with her? Gertrude. I would go Ruth. Ruth. I, that could be a sexy Ruth. That's, that's Ruth was the uh, love interest on Hey Arnold. Remember. Arnold has a crush on Ruth. Mm. Yeah, she's yeah. a dumb bitch with braces. True. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to shut it down. You should fucking beat her ass, dude. Um, wait, I want to go into one thing. We were thinking of a new segment to do. True. Lest we forget. Mm. So, Molest old Nate here good. just put out a new song with our boy Art Morera. Called do, do, do. Accolades. There's a video for it on YouTube. The video's fucking awesome. It's crazy. Um, hello, YouTube. Hello, hello YouTube. Did Ronald I'm going to Jenkins. Teach you how to make noodles. But, uh, so the song's called Accolades, and I was thinking each week, like, I could pick a song of his, 
and then the next week he'd pick a song of mine and we'd like break it down, you know, we could discuss the lyrics or the beat or whatever, or maybe just play it through and then that's it. We just play it and then fucking say, yeah, that was good. If I don't want to say nothing about it, I ain't got to explain myself. Yeah, but Dan, if you got questions or anything, we'll fucking pause it, but I'm going to let this shit rip. Hold on, I got to switch this out. You yeah. we're ready. You made the beat too, right? I made the beat. You mixed it? Yep. Yeah. 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 Not a beat, oh. I was just going to hit the fucking yo, button, but this yo. isn't plugged in anymore. Man, I swear these motherfuckers think the whole existence is anything but futile. Pathetic and theory of physical realm is a period imperative. Wearing a feeling of fear and a narrative. Ever no longer the yearly inherited terrors of love. You could not get with the program. Everything's already all rated. Yeah. And off in a romance, we can allow it to all faded. We were some bombing of fluids to keep it all cooling and calm and collected the particles. Water me, palm a rocket, a century covered with tools of autonomy. Timothy, Timothy Thomas is 73 to live in a harmony. Charm and a slither is living. You Did you say Timothy Thomas is ebony? Timothy Thomas is 73 to oh, live in a harmony. I was like, who is Timothy <laughs> Thomas? <laughs> Timothy Thomas is ebony. And that, that's one of those lines where I was just like writing kind of like to the syllables but kind of had, like, an idea of, like, the vibe of what I'm trying to say. And I was like, hmm, Timothy would be a good name to use. Um, so I'm looking up, like, Timothy's, and I was like, mm. oh, Timothy Thomas in 73, till we're living in harmony. I, I don't know. It's one of those Timothy lines Thomas that just, like, the, happened. Who's Timothy Thomas? Is that the dude from Home Improvement? The kid? The sexy kid? Yeah, John Taylor Thomas's cousin. Uh, okay. yeah. Why are you crying? <laughs> I'm crying? <laughs> yeah, this song's so wet. beautiful. <laughs> your eyes are all wet. Really? Uh, it's just a proud moment. <laughs> <laughs> Talking uh, about Timothy Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I miss him so much. All right. Tools of autonomy, Timothy, Timothy Thomas is 73 to live in a harmony. Charm and a slither is living your property. Vivid a habits of tarnage, your images isn't a comedy. Strike up a tragedy, pack in a hike and a light up a key on a kite for the clarity. Carry the humble and sound of the rumble and thunder and lightning a fight with the parody. Parry the shoulders of piracy, Bob be staring in other but pockets of energy. They used to line up and load up the guns and the drummer would talk to the enemy. Plenty of people would throw them a penny to penny. Damn, that line's sick. They used to load up the guns and the drummer would talk to the enemy. Yeah, they used to line up and load up the guns and the drummer would talk to the enemy. That's fine. Announcing themselves. Sick, bro. They should still do that. Yeah. Now it'd be like an EDM DJ. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It'd be fucking David Guetta. Yeah. Yeah. I have a dream. (laughs) George Floyd. There's there's two sections of drones. One is for the light show. One is for the fucking... Yeah, the actual (laughs) predator drones. Shout out to the family of Bin Laden. (laughs) (laughs) Just going down. (laughs) You are going down, boy. Oh, Drop the beat like the second tower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, brother. Talk to the enemy. Plenty of people would throw him a penny, depending on winning direction the company. Send him a piece of the puzzle that doesn't a thing for the picture to fit in a summary. Someone they said it was barely a vivid emotion. They see it as nothing but charity. I took fears of my own that was staring them over and under insanity. <laughs> Sending the beach in the sun wasn't anything more than a finite collection of rubble. But coming up out of a shell's underwater to try and get air and they get him in trouble. It's bubbling under the surface of all of the day. Danger and changing the simple anatomy. I had some people that claim they were captain in a ship and think they could battle me. Bottle and messages isn't impressive. He's drinking the poison and singing in tune with it. Thoughts of a peasant and being obsessed with your presence is not as intuitive. To win the cap of the birds of a feather that started cocooning and usually flew it in. Fly the netting and spread on my wings and pouring a drink for the stewardess. Dang, sorry, Miss Lewis. Crazy verse, dude. Shit's crazy. When you do it live, do you drop words? Uh, there's only one spot um, where I need. Like I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out so I can do that verse in a fun way because that beat is kind of like daunting. Yep. After a little ways, and I was debating. I was like, maybe I could just do that a cappella, but that's kind of daunting too because it's a very, very long verse, and like some people aren't going to be sitting there like yeah. ready for that fucking. Well, it would be shit. sick if you did the first half a cappella and then bang, drop the beat. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true, for sure. So I'm still trying to like workshop that, but I did do it live with Art, one of my last Brooklyn shows, and uh, he picked up the line, right? He just picked up the one that was uh, he just I just had him say this isn't a comedy because mm-hmm. I'm going for like eight bars, and then keep going at at that moment for like fucking, I think it's like at least sixteen where I'm just like constantly like 
Yeah, that's so it's like sick, gets bro. fucking lyrical, spiritual. <laughs> yeah, li- <laughs> lyrical, literally. spiritual, miracle, like you mentioned, spiritual. This this is one of those ones where I was like, fuck, I'm kind of scared to drop this as a single because I'm like, no, no. I don't know I was if people are. Shit. That shit's actually like, it's not that at all. You know? Yeah, I'm like, no, no. I don't know if people are are gonna like pick up on what I'm doing here, but it's I, I've gotten a good response. So like, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Well, let's hear Arts first. Arts yeah. verse is sick because he like mimicked what you did. Yeah, he, he, like, picked up where I was at and mimicked what I he did. He understood the assignment. It, literally, yeah. I was like, do you do you want to do a verse? Because I knew I needed someone. He's just like, Timothy, 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 Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> Thomasy, 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 Thomasy. <laughs> e. Thomas Howell. Oh, shit. It's now all this fluid is staining your apron. Please stay right on my wings. I'm pouring a drink for the stewardess. Dang, sorry, Miss Lewis. It's now all this fluid is staining your apron. Please stay my cup. I'm not sure what to do with it. Thank you. The look on her facial expression is making my imagination require some view with discretion that you want to breath me. We met in the laboratory as far as that story let's say i'm refueling her engine if you were to mention the legend of arthur Morera, the raps are like taking a whiff of a mule's maneuver a second my thoughts are as quick as a duel in a western i'm cooler than beverages schooling you freshmen just off a of principal teaching you all the lesson could still feel my presence with fairness beautiful attendance i'm with your girl from bruising intestines nephews is questioning ah. interest to watch and cruel intent i'm with your girlfriend bruising intestines nice very sick no. Bump inside of your system to test you Molecular defenses Still go to distance You might need your rulers ex- Molecular defense I love when people pr- say a word like weirdly Yeah, yeah Molecular defenses yeah. It's like in uh, the fucking Eminem song on Infinite Where he's like You ain't, be- you ain't even in the vicinity Like yeah, it, the yeah, way yeah. the syllables line up It's like he says It's weird but it's cool Like the emphasis is different than you would normally say it Stand cool. so many gems, you truly were stressed. Excuse my friends, before all the wretches, my tool is a wrench and it grew a few inches. The raps are gorgeous, tapping her feet like she's looking for veins like an addict with sore. Just came to New York or Florida, whatever. The Another one. An orange, just attitude. He said, It took me a minute until he sent me the lyrics finally because I was like, Please send me these lyrics. I want to like dissect this verse further. I was like, This shit is crazy. I have to sneeze. Because in an actual reenactment of how that moment went for me, I sneezed. <gasps> but, um, he says, tapping her veins like an attic with syringes, but he's saying syringes. Ah. And I'm like, ah, I was like, dude, that is Actually, so sick. That. Tapping her veins like an attic and with syringes. And then he syringes. says, uh, some New York to Florida, it's New all York apples and oranges. It's whatever, it's apples and oranges. Like, yeah, fucking. Florida orange and the big So apple. sick. Fire, yeah. dude. So sick. Very, very clever. This is probably one of my, that's probably my favorite beat flip I've ever known, to be honest. Yeah, where'd you get the flute? Is that Herbie Mann? Uh, that might be Herbie Mann, yeah. Something like that. Oh. Well, she juicy. Fu- sample fire, snitch. Bro. Whatever. Sample snitch. Fuck. But, um, yeah, I don't know. That's for George Fields, dude. That's why I sna- sample snitched, because I know he's going to listen. Oh, yeah. Shout out my UK brethren, my George guy. Fields. That I'll really is a thing, huh? You can't tell people where you get stuff. It's um, like uncouth to snitch, just because you know if if you're not clearing it, if you cleared it, then I guess it doesn't matter. But it's also you don't want to give up your sources if you got like a, if you found a hidden treasure yeah, trove. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Right. I don't want them to know. Uh, it's like the hidden surf spot, you know. Art just came over with his new record because their their player broke at like his apartment, and so he was like, "Can I please come over and like play my new record, uh, Vanessa?" Go get that shit. It's on yep. a cool blue vinyl. Cool blue. Uh, Art's back. about to go on tour with Homeboy Sam, man. Mm-hmm. Where back are they the going? Boy. Do you know? Uh, mostly West Coast, I believe. You should um, hold on, let me look it up, dude. Yeah. Does he have it on his Instagram? You think? Yeah, yeah. That they just like put out the flyer in the last few weeks, but so he had like put me in contact with with Boy Sam because he wanted to know like where I pressed my shit. Because Art was, like, telling him about, I I don't know. He's, like, fully independent now, like, on his own label. He used to be with, like, Mellow Music and shit like that, but... Damn, they're doing a show with Earthworm. Yeah. Sick. 
Shout out to Earthworm. Yeah, Fuck. wait, where? It's crazy. Oh, here it is. So, Beautiful yeah, you things. can catch our, and I'm doing plugs for somebody else. Uh, Portland, Oregon. This is all, like, in Octo- mid-October. Portland, Oregon, Spokane, Missoula, Boise, Salt Lake, Fresno, San Francisco, San Diego, Los Angeles, Seattle, Austin. So you should go see our friend Art Marrero. He's awesome. Great guy. Homeboy Sandman's awesome. Um, I think we could probably take this time to do our our own plugs, too. So let me get in this hoe. Uh, I'm going on tour with Little Stranger in at the end of September, which is in, like, a couple days. So I got... St. Louis, Kansas City, Des Moines, Minneapolis, Milwaukee, Chicago, Indianapolis, Columbus, Detroit, Buffalo, New York, Philadelphia, Boston, Burlington, Vermont, Richmond, Virginia, Raleigh, North Carolina, Charlotte, Washington, D.C., Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Lexington, Kentucky, Nashville, Atlanta, and Jacksonville, Florida. I'm not on the Jacksonville show, I think, but anyways, go to jarvmakesmusic.com slash tour for those tickets. Oh, and I'm also doing... Janice Live with Little Stranger. They're doing a two-night thing, and it's uh, Mother Fluffing December 27th and 28th. I'm on the 28th, but the 27th is Little Stranger, Andy Frasco, and Damn Skippy. The 20, did I say the 27th? That's the 27th. The 28th is Little Stranger, Shwayze, and your boy. So, yeah, jarmakesmusic.com slash tour for tickets, folks. Come on, get in there. Thank you. Um... Funk 95 dropped last year, November 2nd, so I've been working on a little little thing for the one-year anniversary, you know what I'm saying, man, a little merchandise, a little, little new something-something, a little, little flip action going on, little flip, that's my name. Little flip. Uh, Game so over. So check that out, and show show people accolades, man, the video's fucking crazy. If you haven't actually, if you've just been watching it on Instagram, like the little clips and shit, go fucking watch the whole thing on YouTube. It's not that long. Uh, it's fire. The video is crazy. Art fucking killed it. We edited it, edited it, edited that over I, Discord dead, dead. from like 1 a.m. to like 5 a.m. This is some serious going maze shit. That's yeah, the boy. shit, man. You know what it is. Not Tay Remis. All platforms everywhere. I'm worldwide, baby. $20,000 shows coming up soon. I'm doing big money. Big people, big venues, dog. I'm doing big people. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be doing big people. Soon. Every person you do is a big person compared to you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But yo, go accolades on Spotify and shit too. Go add it to your playlist, man. Put that shit on your fucking yeah. on your hip hop daily playlist. Run it up. Run it up. Run, run it. it up. Run it up. Run it. I want to plug Young Thug's legal counsel. They're <laughs> fucking killing it out there. He will be freed. Yes. And shout out Burlington Co. Factory because I bought these Greek shirts there. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I'm just down at the pair, toiling away, telling my little jokies and getting a chuckle. Yeah. Chocolate. Chocolate chuckle. Yeah. 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 Yes, you do. <laughs> Fuck yeah, guys. Well, that's the motherfucking butthouse. Get on the goddamn Patreon, please. And peace the fuck out, baby. Yeah. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Happy to, birthday me. to uh. Fucking big foreskin over here. Bow, bow, bow. Circumcised. Proud of it. No, I know. Circumcised and proud. (laughs) Oh, I know. Oh, no, I know. (laughs) Oh, I know.